Bonjourissimo gamers, Cody here, and it feels good to be back, baby. Cuties, I want to talk about Bro. I know this is a bit late. Uh, she's already been out for three weeks. Ideally, I wanted to do this after two weeks of clearing, but there was some other videos I wanted to make, and then the holidays came around, and I want to spend time with my family because I love being with my family. So we're doing this now, but I do feel like it's super important to talk about because Brochaza had a massive impact on Western Lost Ark. But before we jump into it, you guys know the drill. If you enjoy my content, sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like him. It helps support me a ton. It helps push my videos through the algorithm. And check me out on Twitch. If you're hearing my voice right now, I'm looking for support for G1 to G6 Brel. So listen, if that's you, <laughs> come into my streams, please. I, I need you. <laughs> Lastly, join the community Discord. It's full of a bunch of incredible gamers who hang out with Chowth and play a ton of video games with. I would highly recommend you check out the Discord community. It's very inviting, very active. Check us out. Links down below. Let's jump into this bad boy. Now, why do I feel like it is important to make this? Well, I didn't do this for any of the other Legion Commanders. I made some videos talking about like how to, you know, tips and tricks, and I'm gonna be doing that for Brawl as well. Uh, but Brawl, I feel like, was kind of special, and this might somehow turn into a cuckoo review at the same time. But <laughs> just bear with me. <laughs> I feel like it's important to talk about Broshaza because Broshaza, I think, was the big determining factor for a lot of players, like myself, to actually try out Lost Ark in the West. All of us saw that video that Saint had posted, I mention it all the fucking time, but for me, it's what pushed me over the edge. I was like, whoa, this is really, really, really sick, and I wanted to see if Broshaza met the expectations that were set for us or set by us. In comparison to the other Legion Commanders, especially considering that, honestly, that Broshaza video is what made every other Legion Commander seem so cool. We're going to be going wing by wing, so G1, G2, G3, G4, and then G5, G6. To start off with, G1, G2, pretty good. G1 is pretty forgettable. I like the idea that you start off separate, you come together. It's an interesting raid. It's pretty free. It's pretty easy. And I like that it's designed that way because it does help your alts get through it pretty fast. G2, I think, is actually one of the coolest fights in pretty much any uh, any game. I actually think it's my second favorite gate in the entire fight. Depending, of course, if you are killing Prokel or if you're on the outside. I find it really, really interesting that the boss is actually fought by one person. And everybody else is just essentially running it down, making the person fighting Prokel having to reset over and over again. <laughs> but memes aside, I do like this idea behind a boss design. One person's actually doing the fight, and it's such an interesting fight, especially turning the fight into like a pseudo PvP fight, where suddenly like caring about your stuns, caring about CC, uh, caring about knockbacks, fears, all these things matter in PvE, which realistically, especially in the West, uh, no one has any idea how those work because we don't PvP here. Gate 3 and Gate 4. This has one of my favorite gates in the entire raid, and it's not Gate 3. Uh, gate 3, I feel, is a little bit of a filler gate, I'm going to be honest, and this is kind of why I feel like maybe this game should not have 6 Legion Commander raids. Uh, just because, listen, besides the fact that we do 18 Legion, 18 Legion Commanders a week, having a 6 gate raid, I find, is a little bit much, and it kind of causes this thing where there are some filler gates, in my opinion. Uh, gate 1, Gate 3, and Gate 5 are all kind of filler gates, I know it's kind of weird to say Gate 5 is a filler gate, but I'm hang, bear with me here, bear with me. Uh, but I do feel like Gate 3 is a bit of a filler gate. Pretty straightforward, pretty hard to mess up, uh, kind of forgettable. The only cool thing about it is that the trophy that you get from this Legion Commander, or from this, uh, I guess, from clearing Deathless Broshaza, uh, is actually the Bussy, or whatever her name is, <laughs> from Gate 3. <laughs> He's a pretty cool-looking boss, but I feel like the mechanics themselves and the fight itself is a little forgettable. Now, Gate 4. Mm. This is the magnum opus of Broshaza, in my opinion. It's weird that a little cummy cube is my favorite. Maybe not, actually, the more you know me. But uh, I do think that this is one of the funnest fights. Besides the fact that it requires the team to work together and to actually stay alive and to actually do the mechanics correctly, which I personally am a fan of, especially enjoying a lot of the, you know, or I guess the only four-man Legion Commander, uh, I find it interesting that this fight does not happen the exact same time every time. I find it interesting that the mechanics are not in the exact same order every time. Depending on what version of the cube you have, you're going to get different mechanics, you're going to get that stagger check, you get different stuff happening. I find that really, really, really fun. I like that you can use pretty much every single sidereal in a different way in this fight. That's also something that I always find interesting in a fight when you can use sidereals for different types of tactics. People tackle it in a different way. I think this is one of the best, actually not even one of the best, this is the best gate in Broshaza by far. Now, G5 and G6. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of either. <laughs> G5 is fun. 
I like the mechanics. I think the you know the putting the the, the shapes in the other shapes thing very cool, very cash money. Okay, dude, very very interesting. Uh, however, if I'm being honest, it is not exactly again a very memorable gate. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Again, the mechanics aren't too punishing. It isn't too hard. Just get your shapes. Uh, it is cool that you're finally facing Broshaza, and I think the reason why it might have lost coolness in my head might have been because of the gate after, which is gate 6. I personally find gate 6 is one of the worst designed <laughs> gates in any Legion Commander in the entire game, and it's for one simple mechanic. Now, I know this might be the worst take on the planet, but I do hope you guys hear me out here. Gate 6 on paper sounds really cool. It does. The idea of having to drop the meteors and some are timed based off of the actual time left, some are based off of uh, the HP bars and then having to sync them up is cool on paper. However, in practice, it goes against everything I find fun about Lost Ark. As you get stronger, the fight punishes you by making, making you have to wait more. As you get better at the fight, the fight punishes you by making you have to wait more. There is nothing more boring in the game than just running around, just waiting for time to pass. And Gate 6 is always like that. And the stronger we get, the longer we are going to be running around doing nothing. This one mechanic completely ruins the, the gate for me and actually tarnishes my view of the entire raid in general. I'm not even kidding. I think this is a really, really bad mechanic. I think it's counterintuitive to the way Lost Ark works because if you think of even the the you know I guess the highest skill content in the game, which is Hell Modes, um, it's all about uptime. The entire raid is designed about mastering your uptime with a class, and that is what's fun about it. When you consider what Lost Ark is about, that's what the combat is. How well can you master your uptime? How well can you master the boss's mechanics to dodge, bob, and weave? and do as much damage as possible. And I feel like gate six really falls short on this because who cares that you have extra uptime? Who cares that you are able to greed correctly? Because all that's happening is that you're punishing yourself by having to wait even longer for the for the time and the health bars to actually end up lining up. So the fucking uh, arena regenerates and then you can move into the next phase. Visually, this gate is incredible. Visually, this entire raid is incredible, but I think that mechanics and visuals need to come together, and this is where this video is going to come and in, go into a pseudo uh, clown review. Okay, I feel like clown is the best designed, best made. It is the magnum opus of Lost Ark's Legion Commanders, and this is where I feel like Broshaza needs some respect before we jump into this. Broshaza is the reason why I got to experience. Clown, and I feel like the same thing with a lot of you guys. Realistically, Valton was hype. He's pretty straightforward, and I will say Valton is probably one of my favorite Legion Commanders just because he's very fair. It is the most fair Legion Commander in the game. No one can say he is unfair. He has no cheese. Well, I mean, maybe some. Not really. You got, you're, you're messing up. <laughs> Vicus was I, but when I played Clown, it was so good, it got me excited for Broshaza because... Clown is this perfect balance between using the environment, between using the aesthetic, and using the actual boss to kind of like make you feel like he is truly the Mayhem Legion Commander. Besides there just being so much visual aids on the screen, and there's so many colors and it's hard to see things. He's chaotic, he has a bunch of different patterns. He has a, like, it sets the precedent that yes, this is chaotic, this is Mayhem, I, I have no idea what's happening. Then on top of that, there's something that we didn't really get to experience, I think, in the West, that I've never really seen people mention. But if we had done this raid blind, Clown has like a million like false stagger checks. When we're doing uh, pizza in G2, he has a false stagger check. In Bingo, he has a false stagger check. There are a ton of mechanics where a stagger bar pops up, but you are not meant to stagger him. <laughs> the boss is literally a troll, and that makes sense in the theme of being the Mayhem Legion Commander. This is something that I feel like Broshaza felt a bit short on. I feel like on one part, they went for quantity over quality, and it's not like the rate is bad. Again, this is like, the, the rate is still an A tier in my mind, right? But a lot of the other Leech Commanders are S. <laughs> or like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't really convey the majesty that they presented visually with Broshaza, and I feel like they didn't convey it in its mechanics. Broshaza felt like Vicus and Valton, but it didn't feel like a clown. You know what I mean? Clown had this way of like sucking you in and immersing you 
into really believing that you are facing the Mayhem Legion Commander. Ross Belshaza, the music was epic, the stage was epic, but it just ended up making you feel a little limp dick to where you're just like, all right, guys, like, everyone stop DPSing, it's time to masturbate again, and that's the fight. <laughs> The cool part about this fight is realistically the floor is breaking and Roshaz's attack patterns are nasty. <laughs> and if you get rid of the meteor mechanic, then the floor isn't breaking. And if you just make it at set intervals, I mean, people will just burst her down, right? That's the thing too, is that like we can become so powerful that uh, we just melt everything. That's just the the, <laughs> the key to Lost Ark is just become God. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not sure what you do to this fight to make it better uh, or to make it feel less boring. But it doesn't change the fact that I personally do not like the idea of just doing nothing and my actual ability to play the game uh, at a higher level or improve my class or improve my character, whatever it is, just has no effect of, of the overall performance of what is the most anticipated and biggest, most majestic, fucking crazy boss fight Lost Ark is supposed to have ever seen. But as always, these are all just my opinions. I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on Broshaza? And this is what kind of why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to get more feedback from the community and see how do you guys feel about Brel? How do you guys feel about G6? Is this your favorite Legion Commander? Which is your favorite Legion Commander? What is your favorite gate in Broshaza? How do you guys feel about it? Do you guys agree with the whole fact that you know running around with your dick and hands boring? Do you guys find it cool? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. A thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys enjoyed the content, sub to the channel, like the videos if you like them, and check me out on Twitch. If you're hearing my voice right now, you are under a legal obligation to come to streams and say, Hey, Cody! My favorite part about Shaza is Gate 3, when they let you see the bussy's feet. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!